call change. Hello kids! Today we will going to talk about changes in materials. And we will find out the good effect of some changes in materials in our environment. But before that, let's have a short recap about physical change and chemical change. When we say physical change, only the physical appearance changes, but no new substance is formed. But when we say chemical change, new substances are formed. Let's take a look at this example. This is a piece of paper. When I tear it, only the physical appearance changes. No new substance is formed. It is still a piece of paper. But if I will burn it, okay. it turns into another substance. It becomes ashes. Most mixture are physical chains. For example, the mixture of salt and water. Salt and water, the mixture of salt and water are physical chains because salt and water can be separated from <laughs> Chemical change is a mixture of baking powder and uh, vinegar. Baking a cake is a change. Baking a cake is a chemical change because the baking powder or baking soda will undergo a chemical reaction. The heat helps baking powder or soda produce tiny bubbles of gas which makes the cake light and fluffy. That's why chemical reactions are involved in baking a Crushing a can is a physical change because the can is still a can. It has just changed the size. Boiling water is an example of physical change and not a chemical change because the water vapor still has the same molecular structure as the liquid water. This would be a chemical change because it's not reversible and involves changing the bonds of chemicals in the food. The change of color and odor is an indication of chemical change. So drying hair is a physical change because the dry hair is the same as wet hair. Burning of tires is also a chemical change. Nail rusting is a chemical change. If iron does rust, this is a slow chemical change since rust is an iron oxide with different properties than iron metal. Food is chemically changed in digestion when new, smaller substances are formed. These chemical changes are example of chemical digestion. Chemical digestion begins in the mouth when enzyme in saliva begins to break down the carbohydrates. Most chemical changes in digestion occur in the small intestine. Chemical change Physical change. Some changes in the materials, whether physical or chemical, are useful to the environment, while some are harmful. Here are some useful effects of changes in the materials. Cutting of pieces of cloth to be made into handkerchief. Cutting or shaping pieces of wood or lumber into chair and other furnitures. Changing wood into charcoal for cooking.
converting tin cans and old bottles into plant boxes. Shaping old tires into animal figures for decorations in parks. Turning clays into pots and vases. Okay, those are useful effects in the changes of some materials. Harmful effects will be discussed in your next module. Okay, you may now perform all the learning tasks in your science module. Week 6, All That Matters. Enjoy learning!